Now there's been some talk about metro or light rail not being sufficiently efficient or cost effective. But if we look at the cost of operating the rail line, metro rail transit costs $1.84 per passenger per ride. Compare that to bus transit. The Metro Southwest Express Bus Transit cost $6.75 per passenger. Three and a half times greater public subsidy for the bus line than for rail. Now the economic benefits are undeniable. In 2014, there were approximately 64,000 jobs within a half mile of the proposed Southwest LRT stations and 145,000 jobs in downtown Minneapolis. And by 2035, the population within a half mile of the proposed stations is expected to grow by 56%. I passed around some handouts, members, that give you an idea of the comparisons between bus-only cities and large rail cities. And you can read the numbers for yourself, but they include references uh, that uh, there's a service cost recovery of 58% uh, higher for transit uh, than for buses, for rail transit than for buses. And the ridership is much higher, 400% higher per capita transit ridership uh, compared to uh, buses. And there's also been a lot of conversation about metro versus outstate. Now, I have said plenty of times before that this should not be a metro versus outstate issue. That we all do better when we all do better. We ought to be thinking of transportation across the state as one body.